Oh. Hey. Hey, Glenn. Hang on a second. All right. I'm going to shut the radio off. The property was effectively destroyed by whatever. Okay. <laughs> How's it going? I'm sneezing. A I lot. Was, I was sneezing while I was trying to answer. <laughs> <laughs> And made it impossible to get there in time. I, me- I remember you. You would go through like these sneeze- sneezing. Uh, yeah. Spouts. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you don't have you- to be. You don't have to be sick to be sneezing, right? It's just like. Uh, no. It's. Uh, it's a psychological situation. <laughs> really. When I when I think I've found the answer to something, <laughs> <laughs> then I start sneezing. <laughs> uh, so, have you been hearing about uh, what's going on in um, your government, my government, or? Haiti? <laughs> yeah, I heard about Haiti. I heard something. I didn't look into it too deeply, but I heard it was connected with Venezuela somehow. I don't they know. they just announced that it is the end of the world as Haitians know it. Oh. Interesting. It's funny they should bring up such a... Yeah, far-ranging statement. Yeah. Well, I, I've heard something about. I've seen headlines. Something about the Trudeau is uh, caught up in some type of scandal. Um, yeah. Well, what what they have is a um, a scandal in a major engineering firm, biggest in Quebec province, um, that was cleaned up by firing all the people involved about three, four years ago, I think it was. Uh, But the Department of Justice led by a native, first native woman to become Minister of Justice, uh, refused to bargain with the company, although all the guilty parties are all gone. She wants to, she wanted to sue uh, in a criminal trial the company, not just the individuals, but the company, and should since the guys that that are gone have already pleaded guilty, the company doesn't have a chance to uh, to survive a a guilty plea, which would mean that they would not be allowed to get government contracts for ten years, and that means they would have to shut down putting 3,000 people out of work that had nothing to do with the problem in Quebec and 50,000 around the world. So apparently Trudeau was trying to negotiate an understanding with the Department of Justice what was at stake without ever telling the minister that he was directing her to uh, make a deal type of thing, which happens all the time all around the world when it involves people who had nothing to do with the crime itself. So... (laughs) It depends on which side of the political spectrum you're on. You know, did he interfere 
Technically, no. Psychologically, yeah, probably. Probably said something to the effect, you realize how many people are going to be thrown out of work, you know? Mm -hmm. And she said, are you directing me? And he said, I never would direct you to do anything. In any event, he then called a cabinet shuffle and demoted her. So, of course, all of the Native people, the indigenous people of Canada, are in revolt because that was their star. Now, most people would never understand the following. Native people are not Native people. They are Hindus from India. That's why they call them Indians. Mm -hmm. That's why the word indigenous starts with Indi. So it is a fact that England in our history books is accused of taking over India a couple of hundred years ago or so, I don't know, a hundred years or so, and managing India. But according to the cell, the opposite is true. India was taking over England, British Empire, so that it would appear as if the Brits were the empire builders and not India, because if India was the empire builder, how could they possibly explain it to the second largest population in the world why they're so poor, if they're really in charge? But when you know the history of genetic engineering and that human beings began their journey in Africa, then knowing, as you would, that Africans are black, (laughs) how did Indians get to be brown? Except through genetic engineering. And therefore, they are number two. Mount Nehru was a place where genetic engineering was discovered or practiced in Africa. And K2 was a place in the Himalayas where the people who had moved across the water out of Africa into what is now India practice genetic engineering. The first step you would do is if you want to make a different group of people, you have to make them visibly different and therefore extracting black from the DNA, leaving other colors which all together total up to make brown, they are in fact the number two genetic engineers of the world and they are in a dispute with two countries that they control in a secret way. But nobody learns that in school, so they believe that China and the United States of America are fighting over control in the world, when in fact, behind the scenes, Indians control everything. And they're likely 
place of operation in the United States for a headquarters is guess which state? Don't tell me New York. Indiana. <laughs> Indiana. Yeah. Right along the base of the Great Lakes. Ooh. <laughs> It's not a great place to be. No. So they hide behind what they call original people, but they're not original. They are just Hindus from India, and everybody knows that the original people are black, except they don't teach it that way. They make Africa look as a poverty-stricken neighborhood, you know, and yet when you look at the resources and the size of the continent, Africa is probably the richest continent on the surface of the planet, and it has been raided and stolen from by the British Empire loyalists of Great Britain and France and Germany Mm -hmm. and And Russia (laughs) and Italy. So there we are. That's your explanation of why Trudeau is in trouble. Whether he understands it or not, I don't know. but obviously, the uh, what he's living through is a setup. Hmm. So that 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 lady who resigned, or that's the yeah. one he demoted. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So do you think they it's maybe a plan to get rid of him? In a way, like this, uh... it's a plan to make them prime minister next time around. Uh, I would not be surprised to see the lady who was minister of justice and was demoted and then quit that she would be in the running for the leadership. And of course. Canadians always wanting to show that they are sorry yeah. about everything. The progressive, would, the liberal, they, you know, they, they. She would be the perfect candidate. She's a female. She's yeah. First Nation. She's the perfect, and the system wants, you know, we men to do that yeah. type of job. Yeah, and they want them to be Hindus. Uh, well, over here, uh, did you hear about the um, national emergency? They came yeah. to a deal. They, they, they. Uh, Trump signed these papers that had with landmines in, in, in the agreement, but he signed it anyway. And then went into like a national emergency, and I think yeah. the national emergency kind of gives them power to override yeah. a lot of those those uh, landmines. However, oh. as he stated, mm-hmm. we now expect somebody to uh, file a lawsuit, no, yeah. <laughs> preventing us from going ahead. Yeah. We'll go to court will be uh, found to be in an unconstitutional uh, program of emergency. Uh, And then it will go to appeal. And then finally in the end, when it gets to the Supreme Court, having delayed everything beyond the election, the Supreme Court will say we were right all along. Just like with the two years of in- investigation, yeah. Now it's proven. Oh, it's 
is not uh he wasn't colluding with Russians. Oh. But yeah. then the media doesn't, doesn't cover that really. Like they uh-huh. they admit <laughs> You're a smart guy, Jerg. <laughs> Always goes back to the media. Yeah. Otherwise known as Adam in the Bible. Yeah. Medi Adam. Yeah. Well, well, much of what I've seen Trump doing is basically exposing. You know, he he has to go. Through, he can't just like say, "Oh, lock up these people" or whatever, or try these people. He has to go through steps. Yeah. Where they expose themselves, or whatever, and now the whole thing was it's basically like a war between him and like you know Hillary Clinton and Hillary Clinton set up like a firewall with you know Mueller and all these people and so one by one they've been like taken down yeah. and now I think Trump may be on like the offensive now now they're gonna now I saw in the news they're talking about if it because that's the whole reason why you know Roger Stone was Arrested and and they, they everybody they arrested I guess on Trump's side for lying so they're saying okay if you want to lock people up for lying let's investigate everybody for lying so now they're going to yeah. bring people from the Democratic side and it's I I think that's kind of why he you know was it's kind of like they were sacrificial in a way you let them get locked up or whatever. Yeah. And, so it opens the door for you. So it's it's all this political Machiavellian yeah. type of game they're playing. It's it's a game. You got it. Yeah. Everybody but, on both sides who are involved in the game know what's going on. The only people who don't know are the people. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw, I mean, I was... Re- uh, in an old talk we had, I remember so when we were talking about bureaucracies and in there, um, you said something along the lines of, you know, the the bureaucrats they outlived their purpose, but now, recently, it's like they're being replaced with new bureaucrats, like new border guards and policemen. And is that what ICE is all about? Is a because ICE is a preservative, right? So what? Yeah. They're, they're still pre- they're preserving, I guess, the system or their system while getting rid of the people who outlived um, their well, purpose. Well, the the uh, uh, program they have put in place for the last ten thousand years is now over, and the players have to be removed. The players on all sides and replaced with the batch of people who are supposedly going to run the next 10,000 years, and that is uh, a space program. The only people who can run a space program efficiently are hermaphrodites. So you start the process by getting rid of men, then you get rid of women, then you get rid of homosexuals, and you're left with hermaphrodites. Hmm. If that's the case, that means we're like, we're not all, um, I don't know if we're halfway, because I know they got rid of women. We've been seeing for years that they basically discredited men, and they're attacking men. I see all the time. Now I've seen uh, gays and 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 uh, transgender people have basically controlled the narrative in the media, but I haven't seen where they they're getting rid of these people now. Well, it's uh, a process that is scheduled to end in the coming of Haley's Comet. Hmm. 
So what you're going to be seeing is a slow, ongoing project of dismembering the societies that now exist on Earth, leaving behind only those people that will continue the project into its next 10,000 years. Because what we're living now is from the end of the Ice Age to today, and that's 8,000 BC plus 2,000 AD. You've got 10,000 years. So the next group has to be brought in for the next 10,000 years. Don't forget the Ice Age lasted 32,000 years, and therefore, when the controllers had planned that and went underground, 24,000 BC, they had a lot of time before now to expand the network underground in the Moho discontinuity. Thousands of years underground expanding a tunnel system that allows them to come up and down in places all over the world which contain the word hill in it as Parliament Hill, Capitol Hill, where I was born in Ottawa was called Sandy Hill, and the former Democratic candidate is called Hillary. That's the power structure. And so, like, am I correct in assuming whenever you see a hill, like, in a country, right, is that like we have the hill, Capitol Hill? That's like the power structure, in a way yeah. of yeah. Because what it is basically is a push from underneath that mm. pushes the earth up and makes a hill, and they say that's where you build. Ah. Uh. And they have their own tunnel up the middle inside of the hill so that they can go when they want to with nobody seeing them arrive or depart. Uh, a push from underground. Yeah. And so they, if they want to go uh, and be seen, they come out of their uh, hole in an extinct volcano in a properly shaped aircraft, which is a saucer type aircraft, come out of the volcano, fly around, do their stuff, come back and go in. Either you, on a volcano you can see on land or go into the ocean and you have volcanoes that that come out of the bottom of the ocean and you go down in an extinct one not in an active one because that's too warm yeah. <laughs> yeah it's really warm so so i you know as far as people being exposed a lot of um the excuse i see i guess on with on, on Trump's side, uh, the the excuse to get rid of a lot of people is they're involved with basically sexual predator, right, pedophilia activity. But uh, what I see, what people aren't being told, is that these people were made for yeah. that specific reason, so they exactly. could be dis- <laughs> discredited. And the ones who are telling them, who are releasing this information are the ones who did it. (laughs) Yeah. None. (laughs) None. So no one's putting two and two together because 
I guess there's a code out there, and they don't understand that code. That's exactly right. We are lied to by omission. Yeah. And the liars are leaders of the military, leaders of religion, leaders of politics, and leaders of media. Hmm. That's your that's who you're fighting. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot to fight. Yeah. Well, I take the position of uh, uh the cell when the, when I was just learning about him and uh and you described him to me as they're not buying the bullshit anymore. They kind of yeah. rebelled. <laughs> I'm not buying the bullshit. Like I see a lot of the deceptions and lies and yeah and i guess i try to keep my sanity my my wits about me and you know, keep learning I that's guess. all you can do is you're not in a position to fight that power speaking truth to power doesn't cause change to happen it only causes power to get pissed off Mm. so what you have to do is wait for creation who is god's boss to say go ahead kill off your staff we'll step in at the right moment and the first thing that creation has to do or is currently doing is to cleanse paradise who has uh, a place that has been completely taken over by nuns. So they're throwing all the nuns out of paradise to make room for people that really belong in paradise what we call the fifth dimension. Hmm. You know, one of the the narratives um, I see that the nuns are putting out there, they're, they're saying that the reason why, you know, with all these bad people, sexual predators, they they explain it that they are interdimensional demonic beings and they control these people. And I mean, <laughs> when somebody like me hears that, I see it as obviously it's misleading, but there's a, a specific mindset that Trump and the nuns are appealing to. And it's a Christian patriotic type of mindset with that's really receptive to that yeah and i mean when you tell people that I mean, it's like it's like wow you know like but then i don't have the the right really i can to really how can i discuss about discuss the fifth dimension or the cell with people i can't even prove it to yeah I mean, I, I, I can discuss it with people who understand a lot of the other things, like Dana and stuff, but not many people I can yeah. talk. So that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Until there is a, a clear and uninhibited activity on the planet such as the going public by uh, the cell or or people who are within the, the control system now but come out and tell exactly what's happening. Um, there is no, no way of solving the problem for the majority of the people on the planet, and therefore 
the only thing that can happen is clean out the uh, uh, the people who shouldn't be in control who are no longer living in the world we live in here but live in paradise and allow people who did good for the people of this planet take their rightful place in paradise. And all of that should, if my calculations are correct, begin with a process in the year 2020 calling the process clear view. When you shall see clearly, something has to happen for us to see clearly. And therefore, what's going on at the farm is the beginning of this process of seeing clearly. Well, that's the whole purpose of the farm, right? Uh, Yeah. And they want Jennifer not to be involved here because... She's a woman, and she's smarter than <laughs> they they would like, and they don't want me to be here. They want to take it over. Well, creation has a different project in mind, and we have to wait that out. Wow, control freaks. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I control every aspect, every. They, it's like it's kind of disturbing, you know. They, they polluted the universe, the 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 world, the planet, and they even polluting the fifth dimension. That's. Yeah. <laughs> that's a problem. Yeah. That's a huge problem. That's... But one thing you have to remember, Jerd, is. Even in the worst instance of control mechanisms, such as religion and politics and media and military, there always are a few people who are watching what's happening from their point of view and coming to the right conclusions. And when you put those people together in one place, then change can happen, even with whatever power structures tries to deny people, change can happen when individuals in each of the structures comes forward and says, yes, From my point of view, I can tell you that this, that, and the other thing happens. And the other one says, from my point of view, I can tell you this, that, and the other thing happens. And when you get all five groups coming together, you will see clearly. And that means the majority of the population will begin to unprogram itself, deprogram itself, and start saying, that makes more sense. That is clearly more what I believe has been happening around me. And hell will break loose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... You know, it, it, it just per, like personally, it hurts me deeply. Like when I see people who are looking for truth, but yet they're they're, they're misled. They're misled all, by. All you have to do <laughs> is think about Wall Street. 
and how the people who are in the nunneries who pretend to be on the side of the people, yet every time you look at what they've done, they are the worst of of the worst to have abused children for centuries. They have the money that control Wall Street. And that, when you look at what happens to the money that's placed on Wall Street, senators make 15% on their investment yearly. Controllers of Wall Street make 10%. The average winner among the population makes 5%. And everybody less than the average loses money, and that's the poor. So what you have is an established instrument to rob the poor and give to the wealthy. And that's why the cell will not allow any investment coming to us from billionaires. They have proven beyond any doubt that even though 27 to $30 million is satisfactory to getting all you want while you're alive, the interest added at the end of the year will make sure your money never goes down. You always have what you had at the beginning of the year, no matter what you did, unless you said, take it all. Now, if if that's the game we're playing, the poor pay, the wealthy hide away everything over $30 million. And that creates poverty. The money that should be split up among the people of the world is in a handful of one or two percent of the population. They have stolen from the poor and everybody that goes without food, without medicine, without housing, they are poor because somebody stole their share. And the only people that have stolen their share are called billionaires. Yeah, in in, in the in the politics, that seems to be like a big argument. They have, you know, like the people who are more left, socialistic type. They they talk about that, like. You know, like Bernie Sanders always talks about the one percent, the one percent. But they twist it, you yeah. Know, because in their ideology, they just hate rich people. They don't care about poor people. They use the yeah. poor people for their own political. They yeah. use the poor people just like the billionaires, but in a different way. You know, they need they need the people who are going to pick up garbage. Well, wash toilets. Yeah. Yeah. Just recently in in New York, uh, Amazon, the story is that Amazon was going to come here and open up a a headquarters in uh, Queens, Long Island City. But somebody from the... uh, in the Democratic Party, they, you know, they, she's been labeled as uh, far left, kind of, in her politics, and yeah. she led basically a, a group of people to basically protest Amazon coming yeah. to the, in New York, and and now 
because of that, there's uh, a lot of jobs that people won't have. Yeah. What was the story behind that? You think that was? Um, I... Well, it was a miscalculation at best by <laughs> Amazon that thinking that if the politicians were ready to be bought, those who are not politicians didn't want what the politicians tried to give them. And there was a revolt sufficiently large enough to cause the politicians to say, "Uh uh-oh, we're in trouble. (laughs) And they told Amazon to back off. A lot of people, I've heard people saying that um, that that lady, um, her last name is Cortez, that she's kind of helping Trump in his re-election. Because yeah. it's like the whole Democratic Party is, a lot of them are attacking uh, that lady yeah. now. Because she's, really, she's 29 years old, I think she's really young. Yeah. She kind of has a naive yeah. understanding. Takes a while to put the pieces together, and most people die before they get there. What a shame. Yeah. Just as they're turning the corner. (laughs) Yeah. Jared, in any event, I have to call Jennifer. Oh, how is she, by the way? Well, she's um, on her weekend off today and um she's she's not happy that's for sure (laughs) yes she She wants to bring her cats home with her the happiest Mm -hmm. she's been when she was on the farm with you i think but everything around that belongs and she can't come here until somebody in the process of making it bad for her turns around and starts making it better. So I can't leave her uh, without making sure that I talk to her every day so that she remembers that some people care. And, And you guys are important in that as well by calling her up occasionally and talking with her so that she doesn't feel that she's all by herself. Mm. Yeah. So I'll talk to you again soon, okay. but right now I got to go. Okay, I understand. All right, Glenn. Thanks. Bye. Bye.